Hello and welcome to Northwest Swipe Shots. This is Angel with today's evening bulletin, starting off with national news. More than 51 crore 45 lakh COVID-19 vaccine doses administered so far. Recovery rate stands at 97.4%. The Lok Sabha on 10 August, that is Tuesday, passed the Constitution 127th Amendment Bill 2021 with unanimous support from the House and not a single vote against. The Constitution 127th Amendment Bill 2021 seeks to restore the power of state government to identify other backward classes that are socially and economically backward after a Supreme Court order in May 2021. The bill should be considered as the 105th Constitution Amendment Bill after being renumbered. The 127th Amendment Bill proposes to insert three new articles in the constitutions, which are Article 342A. It deals with the central list of the socially and educationally backward classes. The bill proposes to authorize the state to have their own list of socially and educationally backward classes, SEBC 342A3. Article 366.26c defines the socially and educationally backward classes as such backward classes as are to deemed under Article 342a for the purpose of the central government of the state or union territory. Article 338b has constituted the National Commission for Backward Classes. The bill adds a provision to the article proposing that this clause shall not be applicable to Article 342A3, that is, states or union territories power to make their own list. The bill seeks to empower the state government and union territories to prepare and maintain their own state list, union territory list of socially and educationally backward classes and with a view to maintain the federal structure of this country. Uzwala 2.0 gas connection scheme launched by Prime Minister Modi. He said a scheme is to provide maximum benefit to lakhs of migrant laborer families. Government organized Fit India Freedom Run 2.0 throughout country as a part of Azadika Amrit Mahotsav celebrations. The state governments cannot withdraw pending criminal cases against MPs and MLAs without the approval of the High Court, the Supreme Court said. The RBI will start imposing penalty on banks in case the ATMs remain out of cash for a total period of 10 hours in a month from October 1, 2021 onwards. 99.9 .9 students passed Class 10 SSLC exams in Karnataka, says State Education Minister B.C. Nagesh. Andhra Pradesh CM YS Jagan Mohan Reddy has called for a full-fledged survey of WAKF lands across the state and to protect them besides establishing a WAKF tribunal in Karnal. He also said that there was an urgent need to construct new cemeteries for minority sections in the current fiscal. He urged officials to ensure payment of honorarium to imams, mausans and pastors promptly. Kerala Governor Arif Muhammad Khan speaking at a book launch event said triple talaq cases dropped by 80% after enactment of law. Punjab police on 10 August, that is Tuesday, seized 13.72 kg heroin from a village near the India-Pakistan border. Haryana extends lockdown till August 23, lifts curbs on malls and shops. Mumbai local trains open from August 15 to fully vaccinated people. People can take passes either from app or from offices. The Education Department of Delhi has issued a standard operating procedures, SOP, for the reopening of schools in the state for the students of class 10 to 12 classes. Supply of essential commodities is gradually returning to normalcy in Mizoram as trucks carrying goods are entering the state from neighboring Assam through National Highway 306. Army given allocation of rupees 2.84 trillion between 2017 to 18 and 2021 to 22. The Indian Army has been given a budgetary allocation of rupees 2.84 lakh crore between 2017 to 18 and 2021 to 22 as against rupees 2.22 lakh crore in the previous five-year period, the government said in the Rajya Sabha. 
India's first indigenous aircraft carrier Vikrant on Sunday successfully completed a five-day maiden sea voyage as the performance of the key systems of the 40,000-ton warship was found to be satisfactory. The aircraft carrier, built at a cost of around Rs 23,000 crore, set sail on Wednesday for the crucial sea trials ahead of its planned induction into the Indian Navy by August next year. Over 40,000 fully vaccinated people test positive in Kerala. Over 40,000 breakthrough cases or COVID-19 infections in people who have been vaccinated have been found in Kerala. In Pathanam Thita, 14,974 people were found infected after the first COVID dose, while 5,042 were found infected after the second vaccine jab. RBI to penalize banks if ATMs run out of cash for over 10 hours a month. The Reserve Bank of India on Tuesday announced a penalty for banks and non-banking entities if the automated teller machine or ATMs operated by them run out of cash for over more than 10 hours a month. A major landslide was reported from the Kinnuwar district in Himachal Pradesh on Wednesday. The incident is feared to have buried more than 40 people under the debris, according to news agencies. The center on Tuesday said it understood the emotion while pointing out that constitutional and legal issues need to be addressed in light of the Supreme Court's unwillingness to alter the quota threshold of 50%. The demand was made after the Lok Sabha passed a constitutional amendment bill 386-0 that restores states' ability to create their own OBC list. Maharashtra Social Justice Minister Virendra Kumar stated that the Maratha group can be included on its own list. Mr. Gandhi slammed politicians who hurried to congratulate athletes via video calls. Many interpreted this as a dig at Prime Minister Modi, who spoke with numerous medalists by video call and said it was just as necessary to pay the athletes their dues as it was to express congratulation. Enough with the video calls, now send out the reward sums, he posted on Instagram today. Adding, players should get their dues with the congratulations, not cuts in the sports budgets. Now moving on to international news. India and Israel on 9th August Monday held a fruitful discussion to deepen their defense and industrial ties, reviewing the ongoing cooperation, Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz said. Russia willing to offer localized manufacturing partnership to India in civilian aircraft, Rostec, Russian industrial major CEO said. In pursuance of India's Act East policy, Indian naval ship Sivalik and Katmat arrived at Moara Bruni on Sunday to participate in various bilateral professional interactions and to conduct bilateral exercise with Royal Bruni Navy. A free trade agreement between India and Australia would be an important sign of the democratic world tilt away from China, Australian Special Trade Envoy Tony Aboft said. Actually, Australia and India launched negotiations for a Comprehensive Economic Cooperation Agreement CECA, in May 2011. No cases of infiltration have been reported at the Indo-China border during 2021, the Ministry of Defence told. Canada extended the ban on direct flights from India till September 21 due to risk posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Moving on to world news, Afghan government forces were fighting the Taliban for a string of southern cities after the insurgents took control of five provincial capitals in a 72-hour weekend please. Greece wildfires are continuing to rip though the Ivia Island, prompting residents to flee to safety by sea. More than 2,000 people have been evacuated. Greece and neighboring Turkey have been battling devastating blazes for nearly two weeks as the region suffers its worst heat wave in decades. China has recalled its ambassador to Lithuania in protest over Lithuania's recent decision that it will allow the Taiwan government to set up representative offices in the name of Taiwan. It would be the self-ruled island's first such de facto embassy in Europe to bear the name Taiwan, which Beijing sees as a violation of its one China policy. Normally, only Taipei is used. 
Chinese researchers found that people infected with Delta carry 1,260 times more viruses in their noses compared with the original version of the coronavirus. Moving on to sports news. Former Australian fast bowler Sean Tate has been appointed Afghanistan national team's bowling coach and new batting coach from Sri Lanka for their forthcoming series against Pakistan. Chief of Defence Staff Bipin Rawat and Army Chief General M. M. Naraveni on Tuesday met Neeraj Chopra and complimented him on winning the gold medal in javelin throw at the recently concluded Tokyo Olympics. Hockey women, the Haryana government will also honour the nine women's hockey players of the state with a cash reward of Rs 50 lakh each, while an equal amount would be given to each sportsperson of the state who stood at the fourth position in any event in the Olympics. Covid update as on 11th August 2021 is Total vaccine doses administered so far nationally is 51 crore 90 lakh 80,524. In last 24 hours, 41,38,646 administered. Cases across India, total active cases is 3 crore 86,351. New cases are 2,157. Total cases tally 3 crore 20 lakh 36,511. Total new cases 38,353. Discharge 97.05%. Total recoveries is 3 crore 12 lakh. 20,981. New recoveries 40,013. Total deaths nationally is 1.34%. Nationwide total deaths until now is 4,29,179. New deaths are 497. With this, we come to an end of today's news headlines. Stay safe, stay home, and don't forget to like, share, and follow Northwest Web Shows on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Until I see you next time, stay safe, stay home. Good night.